Hello everyone and welcome to the Ebony's Tarot. Uh, I've just got a quick intuitive message. Well, I say quick, we'll see how long we'll be here. <laughs> um, the Truth's Advocate, the Devil's Disciple. The Truth's Advocate, the Devil's Disciple. I think The, de the Devil's Disciple is actually a film, like an old film. So that might be significant to somebody. Now, I'm here to tell you the difference between smart and wise. In a lot of the readings, there's been heavy energy on intuition. There's been heavy energy on downloads. I know anyone that's got any sort of spiritual gifts have, like, you guys have probably been having a lot of crazy dreams, a lot of headaches, just loss of energy you know your mind's probably been run, like running wild a lot of things that you've been foreseeing have coming into fruition i'm also guided to tell you that go and watch readings from 10 months ago you'll see that they're starting to resonate now i actually got that knowledge from who was it who was i watching it was Astro Queen. Oh my God, I love Astro Queen. Oh my God. Hi, Astro. And she, I'm saying hi like she's ever going to see my channel. You know what? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. Um, But yes. But anyway, the difference between someone who's smart and somebody who is wise is that a smart person is very analytical. So they're very book smart, okay? So... They get their, it's like having a robotic mind. They get their information from studying and reading. Not to say that a wise person doesn't, but a wise person has emotional intelligence. A smart person doesn't. Now, let me give you an example. A smart person, okay, Let's say somebody wanted to rob a bank or they wanted to break into somewhere where it had a lot of treasure. Now, in order to break into something, you have to be very, very smart, you know, because, you, you know, anywhere where there is treasure, where there is money, um, where there's something that's precious is going to have hella security. So a smart person will sit outside somewhere like a stakeout. They would sit outside somewhere for hours, for days, watching literally jotting down everything because they're very analytical they're like okay well this opens at this time that person comes at there there's cameras there 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 and they're like they have to analyze everything always thinking always thinking always in their mind now a wise person would know that even though a wise person is smart enough to break into somewhere they would be wise enough to know that that's not a good decision. So smart people don't necessarily make good decisions. They make decisions that they think they can get away with because they're just very logical and analytical. It's just like, well, if one plus one equals two, then that's what it is. Whereas a wise person knows like, yeah, well, you know, one plus one does equal two, okay but then two plus two adds to this and then this and then this and then this and do you know what it's not even about the number it's about this and it's about that and there's duality like a wise person understands the law of the universe and a wise person understands cause and effect a wise person understands that every action causes a reaction which is why a wise person would never break into a bank a wise person would never break into, I don't know, like a jewel. Is like a wise person is not going to do something that isn't righteous. Because they understand that if you do anything that goes against the law, whether it's actual physical law of the law of nature or the law of the divine, there's always going to be a consequence. A smart person... Okay, let's put it like this. A wise person thinks before they act. A smart person thinks about how they can get away with an act. 
You see, some of the most notorious serial killers in the world, they have been smart. You know, they will stare at you, they will study you. You don't even know you're being watched half the time. Next thing you know, you're locked up in a basement or in a freezer. <laughs> it's not funny, it's not funny at all. But they always get caught. A wise person, even if a wise person had evil thoughts, they would know eventually whatever it is evil that they're going to do, they're going to get caught. Because you see, when you follow the path of the divine... The divine blesses you. This is why you need to surrender. You need to let go of places, people, things, celibacy, all of that type of stuff. Because you get rewarded for your faith. And then everything that you let go of, you get it in abundance. In this lifetime and in the next. Whatever realms, whatever it is you believe in. Now to follow the path of the devil. Okay, because the devil, the devil thinks it's smart. It tries to outsmart everything. Evil always thinks it's doing right. Okay. Just know that when you follow the path of the divine, you're soon going to meet your maker. But when you follow the path of the devil, you're going to meet that maker too. So it becomes a boomerang effect. It's like if somebody commits a crime and they get caught, then they come out and they keep committing crimes. They get caught again. They come out, they keep that, you know, a wise person would know, well, I've made a mistake. I'm not going to do that again because I suffered a consequence. And the next time I suffer the consequence, I'm going to suffer more than da -da -da and da -da -da and da -da -da. They understand every action causes a reaction, whether it's good or bad. They understand duality. A smart person will just think, okay, well, I'm just going to use my mind to figure out how I can get away with this this time. It's like relationships. Cheaters always get caught. That's why they're called cheaters. Liars always you know, get caught in their lies. That's why they're called liars. Like, people don't call people liars and cheaters and stealers and thieves and, and, and whatever for no reason. But they will continue to do it because they're not smart. They don't have emotional intelligence. They're enslaved by the minds of the devil. And, you know, the devil and the divine, it's an energy. Because I know a lot of people don't like the word the devil, but, you know, you need to get the fuck over it. Like, th th like if you do bad things, you are being led by the devil or demonic energies period point blank especially if you think that what you're doing is okay you know the difference between a psychopath and a sociopath is that a sociopath knows what they're doing is wrong but they they do it anyway so a sociopath for example could be like a hitman like someone who's paid to kill people he's just doing his job but at the end of the day he's taking away people's lives for money so he's trying to play god now, he could kill the wrong person. He, he don't even need to know why. He just, he gets a job and he gets it done. Now, the person that's ordering him to do something, they could just have some sort of vengeful thing against another person. It could just be jealousy. That person might be a good person. And someone has just been paid to take out someone that just had a good soul just because of some shmoney. If you do bad things for money, you are enslaved. It doesn't matter how much someone offers you, that nothing you should do, nothing, you shouldn't do anything bad when it comes to money because money at the end of the day is a currency. You know, we forget that money doesn't really have any value. Like they just make us think that it does. Everything that has value is actually provided by mother nature. But the irony is that money is from paper and paper is from trees and trees is from mother nature. Now you have to cut down trees in order to make paper so you're ruining mother nature this is why you know there's so much greed power everyone's chasing money what they don't realize is that they're going against the natural order of the divine so when you are doing bad things to get money just know that's going to have a cause and effect because the universe mother earth is that rare okay you're going out there and you're stealing or, or killing people or, or hurting people for something that I can just provide you. Like, I've given you, I created you. I've given you gifts and talent. And rather than you utilizing your gifts and your talent and unlocking a life of abundance and surrendering to me so I can bless you, you're using, you're hurting people. Like, the way that you're hurting people to get something that comes from me, you're, you're also hurting me. 
that is going to have a consequence. The devil's disciple, the truth's advocate. I just want you guys to just marinate on that for a minute. Now, a smart person can meet a wise person and be attracted by their intelligence because, you know, smart people like smart people, okay? But when a smart person tries to outsmart a wise person, that's when you really know they're stupid as fuck because you can't outsmart somebody who gets direct knowledge from the divine. You can't outsmart somebody who understands the cause and effect. Now, smart people, they always think they're gonna get away with something. And let me just tell you, you will meet your demise. You know, high priestesses and high priests, they know, but they don't say anything. And this is this is why a lot of people try to outsmart, like, you know, an angelic person, the child of God or goddesses or whatever. Because, you know, a lot of people who are really wise, they don't actually have the appearance of someone that is really wise. Like, everybody, when you think about wise people, just think of, like, an old man with a grey beard or, like, a really old lady that's like, oh, yes, let me tell you some wise tales. It's like, no, like, some people are young and sexy as fuck, but they're fucking wise as fuck because they've got the old, they got an old soul. And so people, a smart person, again, because a smart person is very analytical, so they're just judging you based on your appearance. They're not judging you based on your mind. And then what happens is they start to become infatuated with you when they find out that you're quite intelligent. But what they don't realise is that your intelligence can never... They, it, it can't be matched. Because you understand the difference between right and wrong, cause and effects. You, you understand duality. The smart person doesn't. So they try to outsmart you thinking that you're not as smart. They say, like, oh yeah, that person's smart, but they're not as smart as me. Well, it's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking smarter than you. That's why I don't do the shit that you do because I know the consequence. <laughs> and you know, when you're a high priestess or a high priest, like, yeah, you don't really say anything. You might just let people get away with what they think they're getting away with because you understand they're gonna face their demise. You know, like, if you're genuine and you're true to a particular person, place or thing, okay, and you actively know that they're not doing good things, whether it's to you or other people, you're not going to stop them, you're just going to like, you do you, because you understand where they're going, you might have even told them a few times, but you know, again, because people are so mesmerized and infatuated with an out of appearance, they, they tune out, so when you start to tell them, well, do you know what, if you keep doing this, or if you keep doing that, or do you know what, I know about this, you know, or I know about that, or I'm just going to give you advice, you know, don't give me your guidance or do 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 ta 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 Like, somebody can call you smart and intelligent, but then when you tell them something smart and intelligent about themselves, they don't want to know. That's someone who's dumb. They're dumb spiritually. So you're like, okay, I'm just going to let you be bad. You can be your bad boy, you can be your bad girl, because I can already see where you're going. I can tell you your path. Because I know my path and your path is two different directions. And you think that you're you're taking me on the same path. <laughs> Ugh, these smart people. They've been warned countless times. But you see, the devil is greedy. The devil is lustful. Demonic energies, lower vibrational people, toxic people. They have addictive personalities. They just take and take and take. And, you know, that just goes to show, because to me, when you're low vibrational, you're operating on low vibrational, I feel like you don't have a soul. You know, to do bad things for money or to steal from people, to lie to people, to cheat on people, that's the work of the devil. You're selling your soul. 
because you're not valuing stuff you're just taking shit for granted and you know what what's taken for granted will eventually be taken away people need to wisen up there's so many smart people there's not enough wise ones I mean, last year, 2020, the year of f fucking clarity, where Mother Nature was like, fuck it, everyone's getting in their fucking house today. It doesn't matter what conspiracy or what, you know, we all know, well, there's wise people understand where the pandemic and all that really came from, but the, the it's, it's bigger than that. Wise people also know that it's bigger than that. That year was to teach people fucking lessons, okay? Everyone had to get into hermit mode. You see, people, bars, clubs, all that type of shit got shut the fuck down, but people were still out there planning illegal events and doing this and do... They're still going against the law of nature because they just couldn't... You know when someone just can't wait? They just can't not do something. If you feel like, you know, you can't not have money, you can't not have sex, you can't not have all these luxury things, that's because something is missing within you. You need self-love. A lot of people, they don't love themselves. They've got these demons inside them that they're, they're too scared to face. So instead of facing them and saying, be gone, they feed the demons. The more you feed a demon, the more it, it consumes you, the, it, it becomes you. That's why when certain things actually get taken away from you, you fucking go crazy. Because your demons are like, oh, you're not feeding us with sex, with, with lies, with, with deceit. Like, you're not giving us anything exciting. Whereas someone who is wise and who is in tune and who has self-love, they could be sitting, they could be fucking homeless. They could be sitting in a park. They could be sitting in their house and, you know, not really have much. But they're as happy and as content as can be. Because they don't have any demons or any demonic energies. They understand that, you know, you sit still, you attract. People who take and take and take, it's because they don't really feel like they have any true value within themselves and they're not, they're not willing to do the shadow work in order to access their capabilities. So what they do, they take from people who have got their take the capabilities. Do you know how evil it is to want to hurt somebody because they have a talent? Because they make money? You know how much people, like, see people as, like, rivalries and shit? There is room for everybody. And that's what a wise person understands. You know, rather than somebody working for something, they want to go and steal it. What, think, what makes you feel like you've got the right to take? energy is very very heavy i'm just out here trying to help people because you know i remember a year ago i predicted something and you know this was before like this is not cards or anything this is all from my mind like i, I didn't have no cards or nothing back then and i'm not using any cards now okay um but i remember i was talking to a person a deceptive person, a horrible person. I could see their soul, but I also could see that they needed love. And you know, being, you know, the descendant from the goddess of love, it's very, and a he, like a natural healer, it's very, um, I wouldn't say it's hard. It's just hard to ignore when somebody needs something that they're lacking that you know that you have. So, you know, it's that compassion. It's that compassion. So, anyway, I, I warned this person that if they continued to do whatever it was that they were doing, they're basically going to end up in the doghouse. And truth be told, exactly where I told them they were going to end up happened like that. After I stopped speaking to them like that. And I thought, okay. But they didn't listen. You know, if someone is smart, if someone's wise, 
like some smart people think that they're wise so let's talk about a smart person who thinks that they're wise when they're in the presence of someone who they who they know is a high priestess or a high priest they know that they're a walking oracle would you not think it would be wise to listen to what they have to say no because some people they just like being bad they like doing bad things they tell themselves they make excuses for their behavior they make themselves think that they have to do you don't have to do any and everything you do is a choice you know, I hate when people are like, oh, I made a mistake. You didn't make a mistake. You made a decision. A poor decision. Because you're so smart, but yet you, 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 you worked on impulse. Your impulses are your feelings and emotions. That's not smart. That is fueled by what your body wants, your lower vibrations. Because again, if you were smart, no matter how you're feeling, you would know. It's kind of like when someone's getting on your nerves and you're just like, I just want to fucking smack a bitch. But you're not going to do it. Some people do. It depends on what they did. But do you know what I mean? You know when you really want to fuck someone up, but you just, you're just like, you know what? I'm not even going to touch you because if I touch you, this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And I'm just not going to jail. So fuck it. That's, that's making a, a, a wise choice. Because you're not acting on your impulses. You're thinking before you act. Smart people don't. And when I say smart, you know, you know what I mean by this. People who think that they're smart, they're very calculating, they're very devious. They get away with sneaky shit. But what I'm trying to say is one day you will meet your match. And your match will be your maker. And your maker is the energy that you follow. If you follow the low vibration, where do you think you're going to go in life? You'll know... Because your surroundings will be chaotic. And you'll start to seek and reach out to like peaceful, loving people to try and disrupt their fucking energy. You'll find that everything in your life is just like tower after tower after tower. You're creating your own reality. Every action is a reaction. Save yourself. You know, this is all a learning process, okay? Okay. It's that, that death and that rebirth. Like, when there's a faulty foundation, you know, the tower card comes in to fuck shit up so that people can rebuild themselves. People really need to understand their purpose in life and they need to follow the right path. And I'm not going to sit here and say it's easy because it's not. It's all part of the process. Hurt, pain. It's all part of the process. But once you actually understand why the fuck you're here, what the fuck you're supposed to do, because everybody has a different purpose in life, you know? You'll live abundantly and fruitfully. And abundance means so much things to so many different people. And abundance comes in many forms. Take heed of the warning. You know, last year, do you see how many lives were lost? And I'm not even talking from COVID. There were so much male lives that were like taken as well. touching the wood now i'm not trying to predict anything like i'm not speaking on the things that i'm hearing in my head because i have a i have a tendency to when i say stuff it comes true so i'm not going to say what i'm thinking or what i'm hearing but i'm just trying to warn people there's a lot of people that have amazing potential to be amazing beings, but they're choosing the wrong path. And I just really, I can feel it. You know, I, as an empath, I can feel the toxicity. I can feel when someone, like people, places and things, like I can just feel it all. It's like I can feel someone's demise. And that's a horrible thing. To like know that somebody is walking straight into doomsday and not being able to do anything about it because they just don't listen to you. So the high priestess has to do what the high priestess does. Unless someone seeks counsel, what's the point, you know? What's the point of telling someone something they're not going to listen to you? So yeah... The truth's advocate and the devil's disciple. That's the main messages I keep hearing. 
own your truth. You know, stop doing bad things, especially to good people. I, I don't understand why people do it. People don't deserve it. I just don't get it. I really don't. I, I don't get it and I don't want to get it. I don't want to understand the way that people think. I don't want to go into certain people's minds, but I have the ability to. That's that's just a crazy thing. You know, a lot of people, they've got childhood traumas that they've never dealt with. They've got things that they never speak about, but, you know, you know, some people have gone through, like, literally, like, incest, like, family, sexual abuse, um, all sorts of things. They've been made to do things that they didn't want to do for money. Some people are fighting with their sexuality. There's a lot of shit going on. And I feel like people just need to face their demons so that they can they can be at peace. There's a lot of people that are not at peace. So when people are not at peace, they, they, they create chaos everywhere that they go. We're not supposed to live a life of chaos. Choose peace.